Now to the argument over Libya and the War Powers Act. Republican leaders in Washington say they're not buying the White House's argument for U.S. military action, which runs into a legal deadline this weekend. On the front lines in Libya, NATO carried out more airstrikes this morning, but that government is not backing down. CBS News correspondent Alan Pizzi is in Libya's capital, Tripoli, with the latest on this force this morning. Alan, good morning. Good morning, Chris. Well, it's now four months since the revolt against Colonel Muammar Gaddafi broke out in the eastern city of Benghazi. And not only is the Libyan leader not backing down, he's showing increasing signs of thinking that time may be on his side. More than 4,000 bombing raids have reduced much of Gaddafi's military infrastructure to rubble. And while the regime claims many of the targets, including this one said to be a hotel, were civilian, there is no evidence of widespread civilian casualties. And the regime spouts defiance at every bomb site. The agenda of the NATO will not be achieved in the country. The Libyan prime minister told a press conference the regime is following discussions in the U.S. Congress closely, a reference to the debate over the War Powers Act. The deadline is this weekend, and the feeling here is that things are working to Libya's advantage. The rebels have gained ground on three fronts, but show little sign of being able to knock on the gates of Tripoli anytime soon. The Libyans have made noises about being willing to hold elections, but no one is taking that seriously. And a Russian envoy was told the regime made it clear that demands for Gaddafi's departure are a red line that won't be crossed. Gaddafi seems to be working on the assumption that he has more stamina than NATO, which is increasingly beset by doubts about how well the coalition will hold up and by its own admission is running short of firepower. Gaddafi's mentality is said to be based on a simple principle. If my enemies don't triumph, I haven't lost. By that standard, it's difficult to measure who's winning and who's losing here, Chris. CBS's Alan Pizzi in Tripoli for Libya Force this morning. Alan, thank you.